वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मंसूर बारी एंड आई एम हियर विद दिस ट्यूटोरियल नंबर थ्री ऑफ क्रिस्टल रिपोर्ट सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दी स्टेप्स अगेन इन ट्यूटोरियल नंबर टू वी एडिड अ ब्लैंक क्रिस्टल रिपोर्ट एंड वी हैव कनेक्टेड दैट क्रिस्टल रिपोर्ट विद दी डेटा सेट सो नाउ वी विल डिजाइन एंड फॉर्मेट दैट क्रिस्टल रिपोर्ट अ लिटिल बिट मोर एंड गिव इट अ प्रोफेशनल लुक सो लेट सी हाउ आई डू इट open crystal report uh here in microsoft visual studio 2012 so this was the report we were working on and come to the main report and see how i do it list of employees just watch what i am doing all right check here okay come back and uh, do something more that uh, there are some special fields you see there are some special fields like uh, the print date and print time i'll take one of this a print date and uh, take print time all right and <coughs> because these two are not aligned so i will select both of them by clicking on them and right click them and align left so now they are aligned and uh, i told you that this page footer can be used to print page numbers so you can use this page number or page n of m all right i'll take this one and uh, okay resize it and take the full width and uh, some options here click this to center it okay save it and see the main report preview that uh, the date is here and the time is here we can format it also and we will do it and what is at the bottom you see the page 1 of 1 is at the uh page footer all right okay come to the main report <coughs> and uh, let's change why edit text object and say that code and uh, just type name here Let's say date of birth city and country is okay next uh, increase the si uh, height of section 3 the detail section and you see a uh, when i increase the height what happened that uh, there is a gap between the lines all right so i would like <coughs> to place some lines here what i do just right click anywhere and see there is a insert menu item and select line and a pencil comes here and just click here and see <coughs> just drag to the end of the crystal report and just leave it here 
and come back to the main report preview and you see that lines are here and uh, the same thing same thing can be done with the headings sections so let's do it right click insert line and uh, draw a line here and come back here and see the lines okay just uh, select all of them and click <coughs> and press control button on your keyboard and the up arrow key and a little just a little bit more I think okay and click on the line again click control <coughs> and by using up arrow key and another line should be here so let me right click line draw a line here <coughs> now what about the vertical lines alright so I I would like to hide this uh, section number for the report header for uh, for the moment so I will just uh, click it with the mouse and now it is hidden alright and uh, I will put some vertical lines also and this there, this there is a gap so just remove the gap a little bit so right click anywhere insert line and see how I am doing this okay and uh, bring the line <coughs> till the page footer so let's see okay there is a line now now there are some corners let me repair them just click here okay click this one all right and uh, just with the help of keyboard left arrow now these are okay and you can control this by uh, let me tell you this is very important that uh, you can control the grids by using uh, the default settings here and you see uh, there is a grid size and uh, this grid size is very important you can minimize the grid size to control the movement of these objects see now now it's working see another line to the end of the report and drag it till the page footer alright uh, what about this little things and this one as well I'll bring it <coughs> with the keyboard and another line touch this corner this corner alright now see here there are lines good one this is not the real data actually uh, when we will connect uh, when we will write some code uh, in C sharp so we will see this report in our browser with the real data so let's work with this dummy data for the moment and we want to learn formatting only at the moment insert some more lines quickly so I won't be adding on the lines I will do much more work here don't worry about that okay the preview now uh, you see that uh, the date of birth column is showing the date of birth 
and the time is also showing I don't want the time here and uh, <coughs> you see the format of the date is uh, the month and the date and the year I would like uh, to show it uh, the f the day first and then month and the year after that so what will I do uh, I will just right click here and then format object and you see there is a format editor there are some uh, formats of date and time so first of all uh, I would like to customize it and I'll say that I will only use the date here and I don't want date and time both at the same time so just click here date and uh, another tape date and you you see it's very easy you can uh, change the format DMY means date month and year so click here and uh, the month should be like uh, zero all right take the March one and the day should be zero one and the year is okay and you can also uh, change this by putting a hyphen here and you see whatever you type reflects here so now change the second one as well so now your date will be appeared in this format so apply this ok click ok and now see the report preview now see this one alright and uh, what happens with this gender and the code and the name alright 